Hey folks, welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World. So I think it's about time for us to go into the Zob region depths. We gotta go find ourselves part of a dragon flute. Yes. You know, so we can do that thing. Yep. With the dragons. Implied dragons. <laughs> Hypothetical dragons. Yes. Potential dragons. Are the dragons real? What's the deal with the flute? What's with all those ancient people, you know? What's the deal, huh? Huh? What's the deal with that? They like dragons? Apparently. Well, a lot of people like dragons. Hey, How do you feel like about dragons, dragons Red? Eh, I'm for them. Of course, this does involve some degree of, you know... Swimming yeah, downwards. Into holes. The supreme hole. The twin hole. That looks right the right one. Does it? Hey, as far as I can tell. The south hole. So the Zahab Region Depths is, it's a fair bit like the Abyss in the original game, but it's fairly different too. It's not just a big shaft. Yeah, it's complex. It's kind of a maze. Just like ogres. <laughs> oh no! Also, yeah, there is that limitation. We are like a juvenile when faced with the abyss. Yes. Everybody is like a child when it comes to the spookiest toll. But enough about that. So, an interesting thing you may notice is that they said we're pretty deep, but we're not we're not super deep, which is, makes sense. We're not in some sort of deep ocean trench. This is kind of just some weird cavern system of some kind. Is your death thing in feet or meters? I believe that's feet. Oh, so... Which means we're going down fair, so fairly quickly. Yeah. Lance a fish. Ooh. These guys are cool. Yeah, they are. We saw them in the last game. They just swallow things. Like most things down here, they just swallow. They find thing. Thing look like it goes in mouth. What's thing in mouth? Forks out? Eh. Often they do find things that shouldn't be eaten in their stomachs. Plastic. Rubbish. You know, that kind of thing. Ah, uh, Cousin Alfonsino. So this is a common fish in sushi. How come you don't call no more, Alfonsino? <laughs> it's called Kinmidai in sushi. Oh. But it is a deep ocean fish, nonetheless. That's why they got big eyes. But maybe if we're lucky, we'll find something with even bigger and spookier eyes. I'd like that. How about you? Eh, I'm all for big eyes. You know, just like your Japanese animes. <laughs> hey, you did it this time. I did. Not me. Because you set me up for it. And I'm going to take wasn't that even. I wasn't even aiming. Oh, that, I know! But okay. I'm aware. And hey, oh, that's cool. But first coin. Sextans, the Sexton, was bizarrely not named by that fucker Lakyle who just screwed things up. It was named by Johannes Hevelius. There was almost nothing noteworthy about Sextans. Yeah, it's a useful tool. Mm. You know, not anymore. In the past, it was. I guess. I kind of. Still use them. Hey, a barrel eye. Yeah. Now these guys got cool eyes. Yes. So an interesting thing is that when this game was made, we hadn't really found any in the wild alive. But Impact. now we have. Yeah. They're pretty sweet. Every specimen we found was kind of destroyed and ruptured. They have see-through heads. 
Yeah, we had vague ideas of how they work, but not great. But now we do. We have a, a much better notion of how they work. You know, seeing them in the wild and whatnot. Their family name, a piece of the proc today, literally means behind anus. Just throwing that out there. Oh, blind shrimp. Ah, deep sea shrimp. They're blind. And if they weren't, you'd probably blind them with your light. More importantly, that thing there is a creature. Yeah. So this is actually a sponge. The only such sponge, as far as I'm aware, that we can interact with in the game. Yep. Deep sea sponge. It's like a glass sponge. Made of very fine silica. So as you can see here, we basically found a little ecosystem that's built around thermal vents. Because, you know, things like to scavenge around them. Eat bacteria that feed off of it, or just themselves feed on the things that the vents put out. It's literally, actually, the only system in the Earth that doesn't rely to some degree on sunlight. You know, because the sun is the source of a lot of the energy that dries plant life, plant growth, bacterial growth, that sort of thing. Whereas here, they, 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 could, they don't really give a shit about the sun. They don't oh. need it. Everything is connected, except for down here. So this is our air station. It's a bunch of big old tanks. This is the stupidest plan. Hey, hey, it's cool. Yeah. I like it. Go. So it looks like we had to do ourselves a little bit of investigation. Gonna find us some plates. Let's see. Alright, let's go plates. Oh, too bad, zoom spot. Barrel eye, what did you hide? Aunt Leah represents an air pump, and that's weird as hell to me. There is no mythology attached to Aunt Leah, as Nikolai Louis de la Caille discontinued the tradition of giving names from mythology to constellations, and instead chose names most from scientific instruments. Good job, Mr. Sirius. Could have been so many other interesting things. Yep! He could have chosen so much mythology, it could have been... It's an air pump. He literally just kind of looked around his room, and... Oh, I'll name it after that. Maybe he was just, like, really angry about mythology and, like, beliefs, like, ah. Poppycock, I believe it's in not air pump. <laughs> Consolation for a modern age. Ah! There's your sense. <laughs> I sense this vase. It's a jar. Could be a vase. We've had this discuss this exact discussion before. We don't we know have. if it is yet. I know. Well, I choose to assume it is. Oh. Fuzzy crabs. Ah. Yeah. They basically, Galthag crabs let bacteria live in their hair, and they feed on them once they've grown. Yep, that's why they hang around with the vents. Because the bacteria feed on the minerals. Yep. Funnily enough, if you were to boil these crabs, they don't turn red probably because they live around all that hot water. Yeah, but the water they live around isn't very hot, so they don't need to be resistant to heat. Hmm. Because if it was too hot, it would kill off the bacteria. Good point. It's also not actually a crab. It's a member of the lobster family. Am I just detecting the tank itself? No, there's a thing there. Oh, yeah, there's a thing behind the tank, okay. Yeah. You almost smashed that. That large container. Looks pretty durable. Whatever it is. Yeah. I hope it's durable. I mean, it might not be. Who knows? I see you're treating this like his labyrinth zone in Sonic. Look, I, you gotta be careful. Yeah. We are going through air pretty quickly. Yes. Okay, okay so now I'm definitely detecting one of these things. Well, that's high density. No, okay, now I am. Yes, that's nope. metal. Oh, and you, 
they also further highlight it, so even if you aren't using it, you can just Yeah, you can just find it. Things like that can be preserved for a long time, and it can make things kind of spooky. Oh yeah, especially in the abyss. Sounds like a whale carcass fell on it. Even then, you know, I don't think it'd make a huge effect. Yeah, it'd just be under a whale. Well, yeah, that wouldn't last too long. Another jar. <laughs> People keep on throwing their jars into holes. the same one that I'm detecting here? Or a different one that I missed? I don't know, but you're getting high density now. Oh, you missed it. Yes, that's the same one. Yeah. Yep, just pick up the one below me. Yep. Okay. So forward and onward. Looks like he's been taking it. Was taken very slow in his submarine. Well, yeah, because otherwise bad things happen. Yeah. Spoilers: that... bad things happened. Well, yeah, that, that happens. Can't plan for yes. everything. Aw. It really is. What's your favorite fact about the anglerfish? I think it has to be their hilarious sexual dimorphism. Yeah, that's a good one. For, for those not aware, which many of you probably are, female anglerfish are huge. Male ones, tiny. We didn't realize those were males. We'd never seen male anglerfish for the longest time. Yes, and then that's because when they reproduce, what they essentially do is that the male bites onto the female and melds with its body until it essentially degenerates into a pair of gonads attached to the female. And often then the female would just be covered in a bunch of degenerated males. It's little sperm sacs that occasionally just become new organs. It's, it's weird. Nature's wonderful like that, and weird. I got through that little tunnel. Took him apparently a day. Very yep. slowly. Ah, so we found a path to the other crevice. Ah. It's a little cave. What do you know? <laughs> Another coin near the anglerfish. Telescopium is a telescope. That Farkala Kyle really had no imagination, did he? Man. It's like literally the thing he's even looking at, and he just decides to name at immediately what he's looking at to look at the thing to name, uh. Spoilers, there is a t constellation named after part of the sea telescope. Pig. Sea pig! Sea pig. Everybody loves the sea pig. Who wouldn't? So cute. They are cute. They are adorable. Oceana knows what's up. It's true. See, picking it up. Oh yeah. Specialized little sea cucumbers walking along the bottom. You wouldn't think that sea cucumbers would be adorable. But here we are, and here they are. I would. Well, you know, I mean, I would too. But you know, we're yeah. kind of we're kind of odd birds, us. Boy. Thank you for air. Life giving oxygen that I so desperately need. Let's see, 
guess he didn't travel very far into the intervening day, given this. Unless he's spending most of the time doing scientific surveys. I would it's assume that's what he's doing, because he is going, I'm assuming, down. Yep. I don't think he's just staying down there the whole week. Oh. Hi. Oh. Go, go, touch it. I'm gonna touch it. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing bad will happen. I live here! This is my house! This is a common problem in the deep sea. Giant squid in the hole? Yeah. You know, you know what my mother always said about giant squid? You gotta find a sperm whale to take care of a giant squid. That or peanut butter. That always gets giant squid out of your hair. I think you're misremembering a lot of things there. Don't, don't go touch I'm it! I'm doing it! No. No. No, we're not doing that. No, no. No, no, no. Can't even touch fish. No, no, no. All right. I don't think Any they're wrong on this one. Yeah, I'm not saying they're not, but... Fanfin. Ooh. Fanfin. And if you translate it scientific name, it's a pelagic stock toad. You like toads? That's the combination of many things I like. It is. See? Fanfins, toads, anglerfish. Stalks. I, know, I do feel pretty good about stalks. What's your favorite type of stalk? That is literally a question I've never spent any time... I know, right? Now. I asked the hard-hitting questions. Uh, some sort of reed? A reed, that's a good one. I like the eye stalks of the snail. That's pretty good. Hi! It's not what sperm whales sound like. Hi! Better. How you doing? Oh. I already seen you. I'm not sold. I remember this being a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a little tricky. It's not too bad. It's just kind of annoying. It is an interesting take and approach to the problem, you have to admit. Meh. Mr. Sperm Whale, over here! Oh no! Flick the stick! So dangerous. So daring. I still love that she just does tricks during it. Well, good job. All she this hard work air. is making me thirsty for air. Alright. Toot. What? Apparently I was not... Okay, now I'm too far. Ah, uh, gotta find the sweet spot. Told you. Not get killed by giant squid, but also not be too close to sperm whale. Uh, don't. Stuck between a whale and a squid place. Toot. Do not blow it. Jesus Christ, get out of the way! I'm going over here. Oh man. That's my house! <laughs> Everything's looking good for me today. Found the sweet ass house? It's great! Nothing could possibly go wrong here! Man. Life's finally getting to. Oh, 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 jeez! 
No! No! Not a today of all days! Ah! I just made my last payment on that! You're not getting away. Yes, I am! No, you're not! Him too! That was so exciting and probably not scientifically accurate. <laughs> but goddamn, is it fantastical! Deep sea battle! Well, I'm all in. Yes, very good. Thank you. Where can I find it? Right in front of you. You've got a front oh. row seat. Maybe you should let them have their time together. <laughs> Nobody will ever believe this happened. From Wales, looks like it's having so much fun here. Yeah, that or it's an agony. One of the two. Can it be both? No, because that's dirty. <laughs> but enough of that. Let's go check out Hole. Yeah, good idea. First, though, we need to get some air. You're fine. No, no, God, get air. You are demonstrably fine. It's true, but, you know. Better safe than sorry. Now, typically with actual deep diving, well, obviously this wouldn't be a thing with the air tanks. You would just have a series of tanks that you'd probably switch out, actually, attached to a line. And th usually the issue with deep diving is less the going down as much as the being down and then the going up. The yes. going up is really a tricky bit because it's basically go, go dive, you know, certain deep death, and you have to spend like half a day simply going up again because you have to stop at various levels in order to let the nitrogen in your body dissipate. Less, you know, you're, you die. Yeah. Two to bends. Yeah. It's also not a good idea to fly immediately after diving. No. Which we do constantly in this game. Yeah. Good job, assholes! Look, well, they risked their lives to come down here and check on him. So it's not like they did nothing. Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, it's pretty admirable. It's, it's actually pretty admirable, yeah. It's a it. bright blue bag! Hi! That was Osiris. <laughs> the little guy is just Osiris. Yep. Welcome to my courtyard! Pretty great if somebody crashed the submarine in the middle of it! <laughs> Let's look for things that also might have broken off of the submarine. Oh, hello. Yeah, I mean, we'll, let's see whatever. We can find some other evidence. Who knows? We're investigating. We're detectives. Deep Sea Detectives. Why isn't this a show that exists? It is a show that exists. It's called Deep Sea Detectives. Oh, well, never mind. Microscopium is a microscope. Like how you made some really boring constellations, Joe. Stars are very faint and barely visible, so the guess this one works being boring. You know, I think it makes sense that we're finding all of these, you know, object named things here. Yeah? Someone literally had these coins and like these are dumb as hell and threw them into the abyss. It'll be okay, Oceana. It'll be okay. We'll get through this. You know, unlike your oh, gee, I'm sorry.
hope Jason made it out okay. Oh god. Jason? How are you doing, Jason? Oh, wow. I haven't talked in so long. What's your favorite memory of Jason? Ah, when we went back in time with him. That was a good one. Remember when he helped that turtle flip Captain Planet over? Oh, yeah, that was great. Ah, oh, Jason. Jason, Jason, Jason. Remember when he helped those inner city New Yorkers? Those kids? Yeah, and then they got pizza. Yeah, they did. All right, well, let's head back to the boat. Okay. I think we've gotten all we'll find down here. Level up your diver, man. A good way to grind is to just constantly dive down there because you level up like a motherfucker. Also, it's cool. It's pretty deep. We barely even begun. Oh man. It would be an honor, John Eric, I say, for this lady who is not me.
but who we control with invisible strings. Yes. Aw, oh, they're closer together now. We are family. Well, folks, I think we're one step closer to finally solving this mystery. Or are we? No, we are. We are, yes. <laughs>